What's up, Rectech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comment section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. <laughs> Awkward extended smile period. No. Give me a smile. <laughs> Give me a smile. <laughs> That's a happy guy right there. My boy uh, Jeopardy smile. James smiles like this. It's a little disturbing. Shout out to my friend James who lives in Las Vegas, Nevada. He's actually a professional sports gambler. A lot of people don't know that about him. But he actually just won his 33rd consecutive Jeopardy tournament last night. Shout he out is James. blowing Ken Jennings out of the water. Yep. Je Jeopardy, they're calling him Jeopardy, Jeopardy James. It's professional sports gambler. Didn't know that that was a real professional. You've got to be good at your job if you are a professional gambler. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to all those gamblers out there. Uh, we appreciate you being part of the uh, Rec Tech lifestyle. <laughs> Must be some good tax advice. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you know, you know he's working that tax, uh, that tax. I would think you would have to. Hard. I think you well, would have to. If you make that much money, there's got to be a way that you can funnel that. You've got LLCs all over the place. Mm -hmm. And nonprofits, mm -hmm. nonprofits, what, what not, yeah. what not. Gambling educational centers, of course. You got Edging. to. Yeah. Got to. Oh, and then detox, gambling detox centers. Like a but these are great conversations you can have with your friends while you're hosting the ultimate backyard barbecue. Oh, yes. Hey, it is Funday Friday. We are rounding <laughs> out National Barbecue Month. May, if you did not know, is National Barbecue Month, and we celebrated by going to Memphis in May, uh, the Waynesboro Boss Hog Cook-Off. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also went to, we just got back from Papa Joe's Banjo BQ here awesome. in Augusta, Georgia. And then, of course, we're rounding out episode 97 of Fun Day That's Friday crazy. with uh, how to smoke a backyard, uh, how to do, how to smoke backyard brisket ribs and pork butts. Yeah, Sorry. just the ultimate backyard we're weird, barbecue. Weird, we're going to keep things easy today and simple and, It's not going to be slow. We are not doing things low and slow today, guys. We want to show you how to do them hot mm -hmm. and fast. <laughs> it's a, it's a scorcher for sure, right? Uh, but besides being National Barbecue Month, it's also National Utah Day. Mm -hmm. So shout out to all of our Utes out there. We really do appreciate you. Two Utes. Yep. It's a good movie. And uh, it's also National Smile Day. <laughs> so turn that frown upside down and give us a smile. Go ahead and hit that like button, that heart button, that laughy button. Uh, and hit that share button for us because that really, really does help us. Uh, if you know anybody out there. Uh, or yourself, you would like to learn how to do uh, backyard barbecue hot Absolutely. and fast, then hit that share button. Yep. Uh, you're really going to help us out. Um, but if, uh, if you want to learn how to win a Rectech prize pack, yeah, I said it, a free Rectech prize pack, watch this fully uploaded Fun Day Friday episode on YouTube, mm -hmm. okay? Um, if you watch that whole episode, you might just win yourself a Rectech prize pack. Ben Lowe, scoot to your right and or left for me. Uh, last week's winner was Mr. Cooper the Great. Congratulations. There you go, Cooper. Woo. He got the correct answer. There's only one way for you to know how to actually enter this contest is you have to watch the whole video. Okay, guys? Um, who doesn't want to, like, hang out with us for, like, 45 minutes on a Monday? You have nothing better to do. Gets uploaded every Monday. Monday afternoon, come hang out with me and Jim. Right when you get to work, that normal two hours that you take just going, ah, Monday. Just hit that play button for us on yeah. YouTube. Just let it run in the background. And you can even comment down below. Mm -hmm. Like how awful your Monday is going. Yeah. And by watching that video, it's going to be better, I yeah. promise. Because na today's National Smile Day, so slap a smile on that face. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube on Monday, slap a smile on that slap face. Slap a smile on that face. Um, but yes, we encourage you to follow us on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because that is the only way. Well, that's one of two ways that you can win a Rectech prize pack. The other way mm -hmm. is to sign up for our newsletter. Go to rectechgirls.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the, of the home page, and insert your email where it says become an insider. And you too can win something. Can win something. But you know what's got a smile on my face right now? Beef. This cow cattle company, Wagyu, American Wagyu. American brisket. Wagyu. It's not Japanese Wagyu. This it's is good a, old uh, US of A Wagyu. A 16 pound full packer brisket. Look at this flat here, guys. Like, this is the marbling in that. Like, mm. it's pretty. You guys visit cowsteaks.com. That's spelled K 
B-O-W-S-T-E-A-K-E-S.com. And there's not much I'm going to trim off of this because it's looking really good. But I'm just going to cut a little bit of fat off of the uh, the point here. Shout out to our boy John out there uh, with Cow Cattle Company. Killing it, man. I mean, you want some good beef, you want to celebrate like Father's Day is coming up, like not too, not too far away, splurge. Yeah. And for the price, you're not beating it. Like this is some good good stuff absolutely and you don't have to actually trim off that much of that fat because it's not that hard fat this is the squishy this is the good this is the good this stuff is the good stuff so you essentially you really could cook this thing untrimmed mm -hmm. um, and then trim it uh, after the fact and you'll be just good just as fine and I'm just gonna go a little bit and the beauty of this is there's not a lot of the scorch marks on the side there's not a lot of trim the decal is looking really pretty up in here and, and all that stuff looks really good so beautiful marble i'm a beautiful color it I'm, smells great it smells really beefy i'm happy with that yeah. so i'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the dirty girl on the top dirty girl i thought it was for fish no that was for chicken that was for vegetables for everything oh. um the worcestershire powder the salt the horseradish the pepper a shiner all of that stuff ruby redbird baby all of that delicious stuff is amazing on beef. This is going to give us some umami and salt. And then to really round it out, I mean, we are cooking beef after all. We're cooking some great beef, that Cow Cattle Company brisket. Mm. Got to put some Ben's Hever dust in there. It's going to give us some really nice savory elements. There's also some chili powder and paprika in there. And that's going to give us a really nice bark. Delicious. Both of these rubs are available at rectechgrills.com, guys. Today we're going to be cooking on the BFG, the big freaking grill. Mm -hmm. um, it uh, retails for $27.99 at rectechgrills.com. This thing has 2,500 square inches of cooking surface on it. And uh, when we say we're cooking hot and fast, uh, Chef, can you explain to the folks out there what hot and fast mean? No doubt. So normally people are going to go low and slow. 225 is the magic number. If you're, if you're, if you're barbecuing, if you're barbecuing, you're going 225. Okay, barbecuing. You don't have to. Well, if you ask uh, Steve Harvey, he barbecues. <laughs> so... Hot Bill Cosby does. Hot and fast. Um, <laughs> that's for a different show. <laughs> right? So when you're going I don't know hot. Why I thought Bill Cosby when you said Steve Harvey, but I was just like, man, I wonder what Bill Cosby calls. So when you're going hot and fast, you, we're going, you know, over 300 degrees. We got the BFG so set. Over 300 degrees. Yeah. When you're talking hot and fast, you're over 300. We got the okay. BFG set at 325. People are like, holy cow, you're going to cook a brisket at 325. Holy Dude. Holy cow is right. KOW. We are cooking a brisket at 325. What that's going to do for us is there a lot of fat in this brisket. It's going to render out that fat, and it's going to really, the brisket's going to kind of plump up. And I'm not getting crazy. I'm not injecting it. Yeah, I was just I'm about literally, to ask you, Chef, did we inject this? No, no sir. Okay. I mean, this is backyard barbecue. I'm sorry. I, I'm in the pool in the backyard. I'm hanging out with my friends, yep. hanging out with the family. Ain't nobody got time for that. This is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, this is also Texas style, man. The, the Texas boys out there love to go hot and fast yep. uh, on their briskets. And what that's going to do is, again, there's a lot of fat on the inside and the outside of that meat. It's going to render. It's going to get delicious. Um, it's going to get a really nice bark to it. This is a 14 and a half pound brisket. We're shooting for like five hours. Okay. Five hours. Five hours. That means that you can wake up at nine o'clock on a Saturday. That's have, normal sleep in time. And have brisket 10, 11, for dinner 12, or, 1, or a late 2, lunch. Three. You got about three o'clock, that bad boy will be ready. You want to go ahead and, uh, and lift me yeah. up and put it on there? And then uh, so we we've already got a beautiful cow cattle company, uh, cowsteaks.com brisket up there. We've also got an uh, awesome pork butt. These have been going since about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Uh, yeah, I think it was probably closer to 9 because we had to uh, we cleaned the grill. So I want to say when it came up to 10, we got here about 8.30, but it was 9 o'clock when it went on. Now and you're that saying, way, wait, that was a really good thing that you said uh, uh, to get us set up for this cook. You said you cleaned the grill, chef. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, oh man, you went and you got and you scrubbed it and you nope. did all that stuff. When you say clean the grill. I changed the foil and I uh, scooped out the fire pot with my hand. Change the foil. That's it. And scooped out the fire pot. Make sure you got good airflow in your fire pot. That's really all you And had I been thinking. When you start cooks, guys. I would have uh, cleaned the grill, new foil, cleaned the fire pot when I was done with the last cook to get myself ready for this cook. To make it easier. And then um, I would have turned the grill on with my phone, with that white pellet Wi-Fi controller. But... I didn't think about it. I was so excited to get down here and cook with you. I get back here a little early, had my McDonald's biscuit in hand, and he did have a McDonald's Jody, biscuit this morning. Jody already uh, had it started, so I mean, like, that's love right there. But hey, let's you go. You never ahead work a day in your life if you love what you do, everybody. Uh, but don't forget, when we go off the air here, we go live on Twitter. Jordan Johnson, our Twitter expert, Rex. The grill uh, will give you some behind-the-scenes access of what we got going on. Is he giving us the hurry sign? Well, yeah, we're uh, we're up on our ten minutes, man. 
You can't rush good barbecue. Yeah. Do you want to wrap real quick? I do. We'll in go fact. out of here. here right. Here's why you don't want to rush barbecue. It's all by look and feel. Wait a right? second. Wait a second, Chef. We're doing hot and fast today. We can rush it, right? You can rush the cook, but it's there's no there's no golden ticket. There's no Willy Wonka golden ticket for barbecue. It's all look and feel. What works one day might not work the next. That's why you got to practice. You got to cook. Because your temperature Every outside piece may of be meat's different. A little bit the piece different. of meat is going to be different. Um, there, no two pieces of meat are alike, yeah. everybody. You can cook two they briskets side by side, and it's not going to be the same. But learning what to look for, learning some key cues. Now, we're, I tempted just a little bit ago with the, uh, the bullpen. You know, we were about 160 in the flat, about 155 in the, uh, the point. But it looks really good. So oh, it looks amazing. It Come over here, country. Where are you going? What side are you going? Look at that color right there. That, that thing looks absolutely amazing. It's already swelled up. Uh, you can tell it's got some great color and some beautiful Let's juices coming out of it. Chef Greg is going to wrap it. And this is what we call a uh, Texas crutch. So this is going to help it get through the stall. And when we talk about a stall, the stall is going to be anywhere between 160 and 170. Mm -hmm. That meat is going to stop going up in temperature and stall. Uh, so this is actually going to help it push through that and get to that internal of about 203 degrees that we're looking yep. for. And we're going to wrap it again, uh, point down. The chef always double wraps. Got that to. way, uh, and then make sure it's really, really tight because you don't want to steam that meat. You want to keep that bark nice and crisp. And again, get some hot gloves. You can pick these up at Atlanta BBQ store. That way, put your Rectech Nitrile gloves on the top and you don't get messy. So again, this is going to go back in. We're going to push all the air out. If you want to put this in a foil pan, great, go for it. Can. If you don't want, don't worry about nope. it. But we'll go back on. But we'll see you guys back here at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard. We'll go live on Twitter. Um, don't forget, make sure you follow us on all social media and set your notifications. That way you know when we go live. We'll see you at the Rec Tech, everybody. It's Monday, Friday, Backyard Barbecue Woo! Edition. It's the end of Barbecue Month. Bye, Barbecue Month. Turn the Bye. fans on. We'll see you later next year. Do, do, do. Man, check out this shiner, man. Do, do, do. It's beautiful. Do, oh, do, it's do. absolutely beautiful. It's refreshing. Ruby Redburn. It's like 90 degrees, and I can drink 20 of these. Drink It's good stuff. Hey everyone. Fun day Friday. Even Rex is smiling. Yep, he's happy. He's a happy bull. He's a happy bull. What are you drinking on this Fun Day Friday, Chef? Uh, after this delicious uh, raspberry sour ale is gone, I'm jumping over to Ru Ruby Redbird because oh, yeah. that's good stuff. Just got a sh shipment of these in. Beer assistant. These are absolutely amazing. Pick them up at your local retailer. If they don't have them, go ahead and ask for them. Definitely ask. It's so refreshing and oh, it's ice cold. But this segment, we're going to be uh, hitting up the backyard pork butt hot and fast. Again, hot and fast is anything over 275 or 300, right, yeah. Chef Greg? 300 is usually like the magic magic number, but yeah. you know, grill bigger, go home, buddy. We've got 325. That's right. We have things to do today. And the beauty of cooking on the, the Rec Tech, it doesn't matter if you're cooking on the, the Trailblazer, the Bull, Stampede, BFG, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. You are going to have great temperature con control, great flavor people are like well if I'm not smoking am I getting flavor did you see that brisket did you see that brisket you're burning wood Absolutely that amazing. entire cook um, and honestly you make some of the best pulled pork ever ever because when it when the actual process ever. comes to pull it he gets every little nugget morsel fat gristle things you don't want to eat he gets it out yeah so that's my favorite way of doing it you can of course trim this now and then pick out a little bit of stuff later, but no, we're being lazy. Um, if you guys watched any of us during the month of May, you will know that this is a big old nice money muscle right mm -hmm. here. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of binder on there. So, Chef Greg, if you can hit me up with some of that uh, Rectech brand mustard. Not but available I, in stores and not a real product. And of course, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't like mustard, you're not gonna be able to taste any of this mustard. You're not gonna taste any of the vinegar. It's gonna cook off. This is solely, solely a binder to keep our seasoning on this piece of meat. Chef Greg will also use beef base. So what else um, do you like, I'm gonna say other binders? Like I know, I, I don't like yellow mustard in this capacity on a hot dog or hamburger. Mm -hmm. Call it un-American, I don't care. I just don't like it. Mm -hmm. what, what else could I use? Yeah, you can definitely use some, um, I like to use olive oil. Mm -hmm. uh, any of those oils to help you get a good binder. Like I said, you like to use beef base. You can mix up some chicken base, any kind of liquid that's gonna have a little bit of stickiness to it. And the beauty if you buy meat in cryovac, is there's already a lot of moisture in the bag. So quite frankly, it's not really necessary. Yeah. It's not gonna give you any flavor. I mean, there's some videos out there, Ray does uh, molasses, 
And if you're looking for a really dark, quick bark, That's right. that molasses, molasses is gonna give will it to do you, it. Baby. And the reason being is when you're cooking, you're caramelizing all of the uh, surface sugars of that meat. That Maillard reaction is happening. There's a lot of sugar in molasses. Absolutely. Keep um, Please keep you, going. You tell me when, it's, buddy. You can't, you can't over-season this, guys. Mm -hmm. Believe me. I've tried. Believe me. Available at RecTechRolls.com. Give me some more right up If you here. don't put a whole bottle of if you seasoning don't use on a whole butt, bottle of you're not using enough. You're not doing it right. And again, you can find more there's seasoning a, there's at RecTechRolls.com. But you just want to make sure this thing's got a nice little crusty crust on the outside. It's going to give you some good texture. 55-gallon drums will be available soon. Absolutely. <laughs> Five-gallon bags. All right, we're not making drum smokers, people. No. 55 gallon drums of Rossaruski. Give me some more, man. Okay. But yeah, okay, again, it's looking you, a little you light. You can't over season your pork butt, everybody. And again, we didn't inject this. Nope. We didn't trim it. Nope. Uh, when we go to pull it, we will pull out a lot of that stuff. I think that we, we don't missed the spot eat. right there. Oh, God. You can't I mean, miss you can't. The spot, bro. This pork butt, without even being cooked, has amazing color on it already. I think we're. No. no. Oh, 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 some peeled it, off. It moved. All right. And again, we're going to do this hot and fast, 325 degrees. It's going to take about ah, six hours, six to seven hours. No, but I'm thinking closer to five. Ah, probably six. Gotcha. Right there. We're good to go. You guys can see that cow uh, brisket getting some beautiful color on it And this is only already. one shelf of the three in the BFG. That's We've right. We've got two 17-pound briskets. shelf here. There's also another interior shelf here with two. Uh, 2,500 square inches of cooking surface. The grill, this grill comes with a six-year mm -hmm. warranty. It's got a 53 pound hopper today and every day we are burning the ultimate blend pellet it's red oak white oak hickory mixed it's got the perfect to. combination of those three woods to give you the best flavor and best uh moisturizing of your meat got on the to. inside your meat is going to be so moist it's going to be dripping after that pellet gets done with it and the beauty of the bfg people i get emails and you do the same thing is it too big for my family <coughs> oh man it's not because if i'm using the bfg for the family, you know, I'm doing smaller cooks. That's how I'm cooking. Yeah. I'm using that that middle rack, That's right. and I'm going right to put there in the plenty of food on there. You Absolutely. can still fit ten pork butts. You can still fit five briskets. Tons of wings. Tons of food. That's how I'm using it on the day to day. But people come over to the pool. You're having a block party. You got Fourth of July coming up. We just had Memorial Day. You got That's Labor right. Day got at the end of the Father's Day coming up. Exactly. Mother's Day. You just can passed. load that thing down. Absolutely. And you talk about like you know we're inventing a new product. It's uh, we're. Rectech exclusive grill shares, right? Yeah, grill shares. You've had like timeshares, like time vacation shares. shares, absolutely. Pick up the BFG. It's twenty seven. Neighborhood associations. Ship to you. Take take note. Rent it out to your neighbors. Absolutely. Why? Because there's real estate in here that you're not occupying. The whole cul de sac can use it at the same on the absolutely. same day. It Promise. comes standard on that comp cart. Those real those wheels roll like a champ. Yeah, Just make sure you're not going downhill with it, but you, you could. Just get on the back. Run down, you can literally run through a gravel But I'm telling you guys, grill share, $250 rental for a Saturday. That's right. That thing's paid off in no time. Absolutely. Sell you're, that well, idea to the wife. If she's got questions, just have her call us. We will talk to her all about how grill shares work. Okay. It's a legit thing, people. Okay. So we're just going to need you to put $27.99 down. Yes. Uh, and then we'll take care of the rest. But yeah, again, we're cooking everything on the BFG today. It's hot and fast. We're at 325, 325 degrees is what we're cooking Room for at. days. Again, uh, you said the brisket take about what, five? So we put it on. It's going to take about five about to six five hours. hours. Yeah, we put that brisket on at 9 o'clock this morning. It was temping right about 100 and, uh, was it 164 in the flat That's and right. about 158 in the point. Mm -hmm. But I don't care about numbers. Why? Because it looked great. Mm -hmm. It was even. It was consistent. We wrapped that bad boy up. And I'm thinking by probably 2.30, we're going to be hitting our target temp. But again, I'm not worried about target temp because I'm going to probe it several places, make sure it's good and tender. But I'm looking for around that 203, 205 mark, and uh, that should be pretty pretty tasty. Yeah. And, and we're not going to let it rest for hours. We're going to let it rest for a little bit and slice it up. Yeah, I usually let it rest about an hour. Yeah. Um, but again, you don't have to wrap it, guys. You can let it carry on, let it ride, carry, let it ride till 203. You do not have to wrap it. Mm -hmm. You do not have to put it in a cooler. Nope. You do not have to wrap it in a towel and put it in a cooler. There's a thousand ways to do brisket. And there's a thousand ways to do brisket right. There's also a thousand ways to do brisket wrong. Absolutely. You gotta find what works for you. And a lot of it is what do you and your family like? You know, if, if like Harry Doss, our shipping What's manager, he loves ribs that literally fall off the bone. He said it earlier, he wants to eat the bone, he wants them so tender. Cool. That's the way my wife and kids like them. Mm -hmm. They like baby backs kind of overcooked. 
Um, if you like St. Louis ribs, a little fatty or a little more chew to them, cool. You can underdo them a little bit. It's whatever you guys Absolutely. like. Absolutely. So again, what works for me not, why, might not work for you, but again, there's a lot of different ways. We've got a lot of different videos out there. Mm -hmm. We're always available to help you guys hit your target uh, temperature doneness. Email us, shoot us a message on social media. We are here for you guys all the time. And if you wanted to wrap it, mm -hmm. and if you wanted to put it in a cooler, and if you wanted it to sit three hours in that cooler, just take it off a little early, guys. Yep. About 190, 195. Yep. By wrapping it and putting in that cooler, it it, it, it makes it cook. It continues Absolutely. to cook. You guys, especially hot and fast, it. that that is literally a, a, a thermal load in that muscle. Correct. Is high. And it's going to take a while to get that to cool off, especially if you got a great coolers like Icer coolers out there. Oh, yeah. They lock in the chill. They lock in the heat. Um, every now and then, not a bad idea if you've got one of those coolers that seal to kind of burp it a little bit. Absolutely. Every 15 minutes, kind of let it open, vent out some of that steam and heat. Otherwise, you, you literally you have a sauna. you continue to cook it. I mean, you, you, want it to, you want it to rest and cool down, yep. but you don't want to continue to cook it. No doubt. And of course, if you pull it that early at 190, 195, yes, you need it to carry over to that 203, 205, of course. Absolutely. So that's why uh, you see a lot of folks out there wrapping it, putting it in a cooler because they're pulling it off a little earlier yep. and letting it rest a lot longer. Absolutely. So. Um, but yeah, um, but uh, don't forget, when we go off the air here, we go live on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Our boy Jordan Johnson, Rex the Bull, likes to give you behind the scenes access. Um, but before we go, Greg, did you know that um, before I was the Rec Tech Grills expert, I was actually a doctor? Really? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I quit just because I just didn't have the patience. Oh, that was a good one. Eh? That was eh? a good one. Eh? It's right? been a while since we've had Am some good dad right? jokes. That was a good one. Ah, ah, they're that was coming a good one. back. That was a good one. But guys, thank you so much for joining us. This is the Backyard Barbecue Edition. We're doing hot and fast, quick and easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, all the way. <laughs> it's Smile Day. It's, it's National <laughs> Smile Day, so turn that frown upside down, baby. It's a good day. You woke up this morning. Thank the good Lord for that. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech one BFG. Woo! Can open that hand. Look at that fire pot down there, Country Club. You can get a nice shot of that. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. National Smile Day. It's a good, uh. Turn the front upside down, everyone. It's National Smile Day. It's a good rack you got there. Thanks, Chef. These are, uh. These are good ribs, too. Duroc Compart ribs. What are these? These yeah. are Duroc Compart ribs. Are these baby backs or are these St. Louis? These style? are uh, St. Louis cut ribs. Are these trimmed already? These are pre-trimmed, and these are what we would call competition rejects, competition a.k.a. great rejects. ribs for you. Yes. Why are they competition rejects, Chef Greg? So they're a little thin on the bone, and we've got a shiner right in the middle. And normally yes. I'm looking right in here. I see that bone right there. This you is, don't want to see the bone. Correct. This is the portion of the rack that I'm looking to uh, put in the box. And, um, yeah, 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 but you, want to put that in the box. you can pick up uh, competition rejects really cheap. And they're, I mean, they taste great. It's just yeah. not what I'm looking for to put in the box. But Absolutely you not. can bring your backyard barbecue up a notch. So I'm not going to lie. When you made these the first time, <laughs> you were kind of, this was. You were not optimistic. Oh, no, I was absolutely optimistic and extremely hungry. And I've, uh, I've had dreams about how delicious these ribs are uh, on several occasions. So mm -hmm. I am uh, very excited that you are showing everybody this. Uh, this yeah, cool you guys thing. have seen this before. This is my uh, not so famous one hour rib uh again yes you can cook these ribs in one hour mm -hmm. uh we marinate them uh in some what do we do today chef we usually do just so like in soy the, sauce and yeah so in and the bowl hoisin. we've got some uh bulgogi which is a, a korean barbecue and normally it's got peach apple puree and whatnot and then we also add a little uh char siu, which is a chinese uh barbecue sauce oh so this is going to kind of mimic uh those uh red ribs that you see at the at the uh, Chinese place. The red ribs, yes. Yeah. They won't be as red, but because we're not putting a bunch of red food coloring in there. But hitting it with some Jody's Asian persuasion. And another persuasion. cool reason, you know, to split them up like this is it gives them more surface area, so you're able to get more season as well as more smoke uh, on those ribs too. So, and again, pick up a box or two of the uh, Rectech Nitrile gloves. Keep the mess on the food and the board, not your hands. So when your hands get gunky, change your gloves. There's a hundred in the box. You're good to go. You got 50 pair. 5.5 yep. mil, 10.98. Man, I can't beat it. Can't beat it. So we're gonna put them in here and uh, just kind of go to town. And normally this will marinate for a couple hours. You could do this the day before, so that when you get home from work, 
You want ribs? One hour. And that's it right there. Done. Those things are looking and smelling amazing. But for you guys, we, uh, we of course, marinated some ahead of time. The power of television. It's the Rectech lifestyle. I'm going to slip on one of these Rectech Nitro gloves. And we're going to go over here to the bullseye. Got it sitting at about 400 degrees. You can do this on any grill that we have. You just want to make sure that it's at 400 degrees. Uh, make sure you, you know, start with the rib bone down. You want the meat facing up. And just go around the outside. And the beauty of cooking on the bullseye like that, you've got that direct fire in there. It's really going to crisp up and render out some of that fat. And that's the best part of the ribs like that. They smell uh, amazing the, the already. The super crispy caramel, caramelized bits. Yep. And uh, the re you know, uh, another reason for you know, splitting them up is, of course, they cook much, much faster. But again, it's all about surface area. So you're going to get the maximum amount of flavor out of it. And I love the texture on these ribs. They got a nice chew to them. It's super delicious. And uh, it Don't makes you feel like you're eating more seasoning. Something. That's right. You, there's more chew. There's a little bit of texture, char, crispiness. They're absolutely amazing. Night, night. We'll see you in an hour, guys. Mm, that was easy. Dude. Don't overthink you guys. Backyard barbecue, again, it's all about hanging out, having fun, drinking some beer, enjoying your friends and family. Not working too much. Sitting by the pool. You want to be enjoying life, not having to uh, to work for it because it's the weekend. Absolutely. You worked hard Monday through Friday. Let the, let the, let the grill do it for you. You got to let the grill do it for you. So let's uh, let's check out the progress on our beautiful butt and brisket. And of course, if you're just now joining us, we started these this brisket and this butt at 9 a.m. this morning. And it, should be ready at about that 2, 2.30 area. Chef and if Craig. you start to see some uh, like dry spots, grab some uh, butter spray and just kind of give it a little spritz. You can also mix up uh, equal parts apple cider vinegar and apple juice and spray it on there. But again, don't overthink it, you know? It's gonna be delicious regardless. Absolutely. You can use any kind of spray butter. We prefer the, we can't believe it's not butter because we like a surprise. But we can. But we can. Yeah, absolutely. It is just like basting it. It's um, just going to hydrate that bark so it cooks absolutely. really evenly. And that cow, Cattle the Company brisket's got great fat in there. So it's got fat where we want in the muscle itself. And we did trim just a little off the top, but we didn't get crazy with it because, again, no. we want to get back outside. We want to get back to that part. It took like five minutes to it. trim that brisket. And not even. Yeah. I think we made uh, like three swipes of the knife and called it done. Mm -hmm. And uh, But it's that, all about starting with a good piece of meat, man. Uh, if you go absolutely. to, you know, your, your discount grocery store you are not going to find the caliber brisket if you're buying ungraded you usda meat it's it, you're going to have a hard time and it's, it's going to be, be tough it's going to be dry you're not going to be able yep. to really nail down your cook yep. and perfect that piece of meat because yep. it's going to be so inconsistent and especially when you talk about the higher end grades whether it's usda prime or wagyu or things like that the uh the cut specs uh that the butcher has to go by get very specific yep. So you can ensure that's like the guideline that the butcher absolutely. has in order to make that piece of meat uh, fit that criteria. It's like the meat bible, honestly. You know, and the, and the more money that you spend on that brisket or that butt, you're paying for that consistency. Correct. You're, you're paying for that for. quality. Marbling. You know, if you go and buy a USDA choice brisket, you might have a great brisket, but you also might open one up. It's got to be gashed through the flat, or it's cut funny. Um, you buy something from cow, you're buying quality. Mm -hmm. And that's quality with a Q, not a K. So make sure you guys uh, <laughs> spell that right. K-O-W, Cow Cattle Company. Yeah, cow and you got some cool products as well. I mean, I bought my dad a, a sample pack from them for uh, for Father's Day, and they did good yeah. stuff. So I got the Tomahawk ribeye. It was good. absolutely amazing. That tri-tip was pretty, pretty delicious. The tri-tips were, besides the brisket, you know, the mm -hmm. tri-tips are what I was most impressed with. Uh, the marbling. Yep. You know, uh, just the just the beautiful cut. I mean, the perfect. Yep. It was butchered amazingly. And they've got some assorted sausages and bratwursts, and those things were redonkulous. That's right. Yeah, they threw us in. Uh, shout out to John out there, uh, Cow Cow Company, CowSteaks.com. Mm -hmm. He threw us in some of those uh, bratwursts, and they were really they were good. really good. They had really good flavor. I think there was also some fresh kielbasa in the box too. It's pretty, pretty cool. tasty. But if you're just not joining us, we're doing backyard barbecue, hot and fast all day today. What do you mean by hot and fast, Chef Greg? What temperature are we cooking at? We're at 325 today, buddy. We're at 325, no 225, no 250. Yep. We are 100 degrees above that. We are pushing these butts and briskets over the top, uh, finishing it in about five to six hours. Yeah, we're taking that flavor elevator to the penthouse, buddy. Ooh. And then we're jumping off top with a, with a life, with a, 
What is that? Parachute, parachute of love. Um, it's, yeah, it's Rex Absolutely. Parachute of love. That's right. Guaranteed to open and keep you safe. Uh, but it is National Smile Day, so if you guys turn that frown upside down and hit the share button right now. Show us and some love. Brighten up somebody's day with our beautiful faces. Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and uh, hit that love button. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, shout out to our friends in Utah. We absolutely love you. Happy yep. Utah Day. We encourage questions. If you guys have any questions, put it in the comments below. We'd love to hit those up for you. Um, and make sure you set your notifications. That way you know when we go live um, because we're not going to tell you when we're going to go live the next segment. you got at least an hour because out. those ribs got to go. Our briskets are good. So you got at least an hour. At least an hour. So go uh, ahead and get all your work done. That's right. And Because uh, I think next week is, is leave Friday. work early day. Isn't Try it? to do it today. Wow. Yeah, I'm thinking get all your work done. I think today is leave work early. And leave work early. <laughs> leave work early <laughs> by in about an hour, and you guys can uh, can check this stuff out. I'm excited for these ribs because the the aroma coming this it's way. It's already smelling amazing. It smells dynamite. And again, we're using the ultimate blend pellet. That's a uh, blend of pellets. It is not one strict straight wood. Yep. It's a blend of red oak, white oak, hickory. It's the perfect combination of those it's three the best woods pellet out there. to produce the, the most amazing amount of smoke and the amazing amount of flavor on your food. And don't forget, when we go off the air here, we go live on Twitter with our Twitter expert, Jordan Johnson, Rex the Bull. Uh, so don't forget to go check us out there. Um, but we'll be back a little later. We'll be eating these one hour ribs. We'll be eating some five hour briskets, five hour no pork butts. Guys, we appreciate you joining us. It's Funday Friday. We'll see you at the Recky Tiki. Episode 97. Woohoo! Recky Tiki. Recky Tiki Ribs. <coughs> Man, I can't shake this cough ever since Memphis. <coughs> You're allergic to men. <coughs> too much allergy or dust or too much walking. I don't know, man. I asked uh, the folks during after hours if they could help me out with some kind of uh, medicine or something. Nobody said anything. No one cares. If you are a respiratory therapist in and around the is, Augusta, Georgia area, is it a respiratory therapist? It could be. Yeah, they Sally, would probably know something. My sister-in-law, she she was a respiratory therapist before she started selling life-saving cancer equipment. Maybe I should call her Cyberknife. Yeah, that. Uh, it's the when you don't have a choice of anything else. That's what they do. You might as well try this. I like it. Can you hear that fan? Ben Lowe, can you hear that fan? I hear the fan. I mean, if not, I wish I could feel good. the fan. Ugh, oh, it just you got hotter. Really hear it. Oh. oh, it just got hotter. Man, about thirty degrees hotter. It's getting hot in here. So we should take hot off all and... our clothes. Jordan. <laughs> man, you should have seen Jordan dancing in front of that fan. The discotheque is closing, Jordan. You better hurry up. Ugh. Rest in peace, discotheque. You guys are from Augusta, Georgia. You know exactly what the discotheque is. If not, Google it. <laughs> we're going to slice up some brisket? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've got our beautiful backyard, hot and fast, easy peasy, lemon squeezy brisket right here. Did we inject this, Chef Greg? No. Nope. Uh, when did we wrap it? Uh, about 12 o'clock. When it, when it started looking pretty, right? Yeah. But let, no, is it? Yeah, 12, uh, 11, 1130. And then uh, we shot for an internal temperature. Uh, but look, <coughs> look at that smoke ring. <coughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, everybody. I apologize mm -hmm. under, under the weather. Man, those are some beautiful looking slices. I mean, we don't play, buddy. I'm not gonna lie, Greg. I, I would have wanted to turn that in instead of what we turned in on banjo. This is looking fire, son. No I mean, injection, no wrap. I know people, you know, don't squeeze the brisket. I didn't. I just cut it open. I like squeezing it. I'll squeeze the crap out of it. <laughs> Whoa, man. What? Y'all got a problem with squeezing briskets? What? You got some point? I would love some of this in my mouth. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very well rendered. That, ladies and gentlemen, oh, we're gonna back our started out with a delicious, we already knew it was a good piece of meat. Mm-hmm. We used some great wood, mm -hmm. the ultimate blend, red oak, white oak, hickory mixed. Perfect combination of those three woods to create the, the best amazing flavor. Dirty Girl and uh, Heifer Dust. And again, look at that smoke ring, guys. People always say, if I go hot, I'm not going to get a smoke ring. Yep. Look at that. Just cook on your grill, keep Ooh, cooking on it's, it, let it's it get the seasoning to, us. to it. It's and talking it, man, to I'm us. I'm telling you, it will give you the best results you're looking for. Yeah. That's man. good. I like that little bit of fat on the bottom, too. You good? I do. We've got these one hour ribs mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. They look absolutely beautiful. That marinade that Chef Greg dialed up. Cheers, buddy. 
Uh, I'm gonna get a little or the smaller one. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm using that Asian persuasion. Uh, obviously, you can see those bones are just falling right off. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of pull to it. It does not fall off the bone. Mm -hmm. mm. Got a great texture to Look it. Look at that smoke in there, guys. 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. You see it right there. It's got those great Asian flavors. Oh, what was hot. it? Bagolgi? Mm -hmm. That's a Korean barbecue. Right. And what else? Char Siu, which is a uh, Chinese barbecue sauce. Char Siu. Mm -hmm. I always thought bagolgi was the meat. It's a type. Yeah. It's the it's the recipe. Bagolgi beef. Is beef the bagolgi. But it's the right? it's the recipe for the marinade. That's right. Mm -hmm. mm. These are amazing. Yeah. As uh, Stevie Fredericks would say, they do not suck. Man. So those are great. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at that char. We got on there with the bullseye. It's that caramelization, man. Caramelization on there. It really firmed that sauce mm -hmm. up. It gave us some great color. Sorry, but here, I'll leave you up with that right there. You are welcome. And then let's uh, I'm check keep out. keep eating my rib. Please. Let's check out. The, oh, I'm going to need them. Uh, hot gloves? Hot gloves. There you go, buddy. We're family. And Chef Greg double wraps always, no matter what it is. If you got pantry paws, I'm telling you guys, get those heat resistant gloves. AtlantaBBQStore.com. Yep. Capital R E C T E C Rec Tech 10. Give you 10% off. Today is the last order. day. Oh. 10% off. I got a feeling Brian will probably extend that to, to all of our friends and family. I mean, if you guys keep ordering, give them right? some comments, let them know. Yeah, keep ordering from AtlantaBBQ.com, guys. Yeah, AtlantaBBQStore.com. Oh, sorry. You're good. Look at that bone right there, buddy. Yeah. And, you know, uh, the test of a, of a true pork butt is whether or not you can pull that bone right out of there. Again, this is five hours. Look at that money muscle. Ooh, Ooh I like the bacon. Oh, it's gushy right there. Mm-hmm. That's still hot. It's very hot, sir. Are we slicing? You want to slice that up for everybody? Sure, buddy. You put my gloves back on. Here's some of that bacon left on the bottom there, everybody. Check that out. Absolutely amazing. If you watched any of the previous episodes, we had, uh, uh, had, had trained you on some of this. Edumacated. Edumacated. Oh, look how moist that is. Yeah. Let's go ahead and clean this and up. And it is not super pull like normally, uh, like we would when we uh, do super low and slow. But look how nice um, this cuts, though. But all we would have to do is let it rest another 30 minutes yep. to an hour. And We're getting some nice go. medallions out of that money muscle. And look, it's just mm. super tender. That's hot, dude. Oh, yeah, and you ain't got these things. Sorry. It's okay. You got the hard part. Look at that. Your hands are all looking. That in. is what you usually trim off, and it... Pretty much just all came off on one little swoop there. We got nothing but good, delicious meat in here. A lot of that stuff you don't want to eat. Look at that. This is a nice medallion of money muscle. Man. Super tender. Let me get in on them that. Sorry. Mm. Can we get a quick time and temp recap? Yeah, so a time and temp recap, everybody. This was how to do uh, backyard mm -hmm. uh, brisket, ribs, and pork butt hot yep. and fast. We did brisket, ribs, and pork butt, hot and fast for you. Uh, when we talk about hot and fast, we're talking about above 300. Uh, we did all of these on the BFG RT 2500 at 325 degrees, burning that ultimate blend pellet. Yep. Uh, it took about five hours total, start to finish, for the brisket and pork butt. Mm -hmm. It only took about one hour for the ribs. Yep. We did the ribs at 400 degrees for one hour. We separated them from the whole rack. We mm -hmm. marinated them for about 12 hours. It's some amazing Asian, amazing Asian. It's an amazing, it's an amazing recipe. I do that every time, amazing. But Asian. if you guys want to do the ribs in the BFG, that's cool. Cook them Absolutely. at 350. They'll probably take about an hour and 20 minutes. So if you go down in temp, just go up in time. And that's honestly the, if there's one nugget of deliciousness we could take away from today, barbecue, is all about, you know, time, temp. If you go down in temp, go up in time. If you go up in temp, go down, down in time. time. That's it, because again, 325 degrees, beautiful smoke ring. We've got a 14 pound brisket. We have a nine and a half pound pork butt. We made ribs in under an hour. And not only that, but we got more back in here too. Yeah, we do for look, the rest of the Rectech crew. That's right. And you can see guys, the BFG does come normally with three, the three racks. You've got the bottom level. You've got the middle level and then you've got the top level. We've removed the top and bottom level and we're only cooking on the middle here, right there in the center. But look at the color we're on making that brisket sure, and butt. Making sure that those meats are on the on top of the drip tray. Why? Because we want that grease when it drips down to hit the drip tray and then exit the machine. You guys uh, always just want to be mindful of the air gaps. 
uh, on any, pretty much all pellet grills. They're going to be on the front and the back. That's where the heat is going to be coming from. Uh, just make sure that you know that that is where it's going to be the hottest in this grill. Uh, you always want to keep your meat on top of the drip tray. That way the grease drips down and it's ultimately going to drip down. You know, the meat is not going to absorb that grease, but when the grease does drip down, you want it to hit that tray and then you want it to, to get in the valley and exit the grill as quickly as possible, especially when you're cooking that hot and fast. What were you talking about, Chef Greg, before I interrupted you? Well, if you're going to increase your temperature, go down in time, and if you're going to lower it down, and I just got an email from a customer too, they were asking about, uh, so Richard, if you're out there watching, we, we respond to your emails and I will get back to you as well. What's up, Richard? But he's saying pork butts and brisket. Should I start it off at 225 and then go up? Look at that smoke ring. Look at that flavor. You don't have to. Some uh -huh. of the best briskets and butts I've ever made yeah, smoke ring were at higher temp. 325 degrees. And for me, it depends if I'm, if that. I'm, when I want to eat. That money muscle. 325 degrees, you get that smoke ring. And that ring. smoke ring is a reaction of the uh, uh, nitrogen dioxide being released as that wood burns. That reacts with the myoglobin in the meat. That's what gives you that smoke ring. <laughs> That, That's I mean, science. Sorry, Greg. I thought you were going to say something <laughs> else, but yes, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> of course. Uh, Chef Greg came Dr. Greg. I mean, well, you know, Jody was a doctor, right? Yeah. Did you know that I was a doctor? Yeah. Uh, before I became the Rectech Rules expert? Yeah. I just didn't have enough patience. Yes, so I couldn't. But Richard, to answer your question, you're going to get great flavor regardless, especially with a brisket. It likes to maintain whatever temp you're at. So if you're going hot and fast, stay there. If you're low and slow, stay there. So if you're doing 225, let it ride. When you wrap it up, you can kick it up a little bit to speed it up, but it doesn't like to go up and down. So that brisket wants to be cooked, you know, 300, 325, or 225, 250, depending on what you're doing. Um, but honestly, it depends on temperature, or time rather. If I'm eating dinner, I might cook it hot and fast like we did and have great results. Greg? If I'm having a barbecue for lunch, I'll do it overnight so I ain't gonna miss what I get sleep like a baby regardless because I got the white pellet Wi-Fi controller just taking me on cruise control. I just had the greatest bite of pork I've ever had in my life. I'm telling you, the, uh, the... And Olivia got it on camera. The bacon right You guys here? may have saw it out of the corner. Mm -hmm. The bacon's good, But man. the bacon, man. And then just, just, you know, a lot of y'all probably like, ew, what is it doing? Just get it in that goodness. Get it in that juice right there. And that's there. not fat. All of the fat in left in me, it's in the grill. Oh. It's good. I feel like Ben Lowe, when he tasted... The cassoulet? The, the cassoulet on the wild side that one time. Y'all, if we had that on camera. That was by far the greatest food reaction I have ever witnessed in my life. Mm. Like, I I hope to be that happy when I taste something. Like, right. You know, that's what you really and truly shoot for. Mm -hmm. um, but we were talking about it earlier. Greg said that he is going to now probably be a hot and fast kind of guy. I'm not going to lie to everybody. I like it as, as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's It finishes faster. A lot less work. You just got to be careful because you, what you're giving up in, in you know temperature as far as how quick it's going to cook, you give up a little bit of control. So you got to pay attention because if you let it get away from you, you can overshoot your threshold that you're looking for. Okay. But again, that low and slow. But you got to watch it. That stall happens a little bit more slowly. Launch of that. It's a little bit more relaxed. That hot and fast, buddy, you got to pay attention because those last 15 degrees fly oh, by. That's right. Yep, that stall goes by a lot quicker. Guys, we really want to appreciate, uh, we really want to thank you for joining us for this Monday Friday. It is uh, how to cook a uh, backyard feast, mm -hmm. hot and fast brisket, ribs, and pork butt. We just wanted to introduce something to a little bit different from you because we've been doing all lows and slows this month. Mm -hmm. But we are rounding out National Barbecue Month. Uh, it is also National Utah Day. We want to say hello to all those Utes out there, and we really appreciate you. It's National Smile Day. Mm -hmm. So make sure you share this video so somebody can turn that frown upside down. Make sure you hit the like button and the heart button as well. Get your Don't forget. Smile. Oh, those ribs are amazing. Dynamite. Uh, don't forget, we upload this full episode onto YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You too can win yourself a Rectech prize mm -hmm. pack. Also, don't forget, uh, if you sign up for the newsletter, you might just win yourself something as well. Don't forget, when we go off the air here, we go live on Twitter. Uh, we will be back on Monday for mm -hmm. Mix It Up Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard. Six. We're doing. We're going back to 6. 6, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. We're going to go back to that 6, uh, and we're going to have a special guest mixologist with John. John will be cooking, the mixologist will be mixing it up with that Dirty Girls uh, Margarita Mix and Bloody Mary Mix. Don't forget to visit dgmixers.com. Guys, have a great and safe weekend. Make sure you stay hydrated and don't forget, we'll see you at the right time. Take care guys, have a good weekend.